I was shocked to learn that pads, tampons, and other menstrual products are taxed as luxury goods. I suspect it's because men were making the laws. Right, Mr. President, men made the tax laws. 50 years ago, German lawmakers, who were all men, decided to tax feminine hygiene essentials like tampons with the highest rate of 19%. But things like caviar, oil paintings or truffles with only 7%. So tampons are the real luxury? Menstruation is luxury? Breaking the law wasn't an option for the female company. An online shop for feminine hygiene products. So how could we sell tampons for 7% instead of 19%? We outsmarted the law with the law itself by selling tampons packaged as a book because books are also only taxed with 7%. Hello to The Tampon Book. A book that is a packaging for tampons to save taxes. A book that is a provocative message of existing gender inequality in our tax system. The book sold out within a day. The second edition within a week. It put the unfair tax system on the agenda of national and international media. 1650 Euro Steuern zahlt jede Frau in ihrem Leben nur für Tampons. We sent the tampon book to all politicians in Parliament. Germany's largest drugstore chain decided to sell the tampon book. The petition on change.org got more than 150,000 signatures. A broad alliance of influencers, media and politicians increased the pressure on the government. With success, on the 7th of November 2019, the German parliament abolished the tampon tax once and for all. Zukünftig wird für Tampons und andere mit der monatlichen Periode verbundenen Hygieneprodukte endlich statt 19% der verminderte Mehrwertsteuersatz von 7% gelten. Therefore, the tampon book is the first advertising campaign to cause a change in German law.